Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a really quick video to show um, a demonstration of how you can use your Z-depth pass from your render to integrate um, a photo into your beauty plate. So here I have my beauty plate, here I have my Z-depth pass, and here I have a photo. So I want to place the photo so it's looking like it's in the scene and is integrated into these um, into these rocks. So I have a, a Z-depth pass here that I rendered out and this was originally actually in 32-bit but I had to change to 16-bit because for some reason the way Photoshop works with 32-bit images um, doesn't seem to uh, treat the Z-depth pass properly so I had to come down to mode and just set this to 16-bit which is kind of annoying because it means you lose quite a lot of uh, information in the depth map but I think for our purposes uh, it's enough. So. The first things, there's a few different ways you can do this technique, but the way I'm going to show you now is probably the easiest one to understand. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your depth map and select the whole thing. So I'm going to press Control A for select all, and then I'm going to press Control C for copy. So I've copied that into my um, clipboard. And then I'm going to just look at my beauty pass, and I'm just going to duplicate my beauty pass up above my photo. So I'm just holding down the Alt key, and I'm just dragging it above my photo. So now I have a copy. So on my copy that's above, I want to press the uh, new Add Layer Mask button. That will give me this little layer mask here. And under my Channels tab, I can see the layer mask here. So what I want to do is basically paste my Z-Depth Pass into that, into there. So to do that, I have to click on it so the eye is visible. And then I press Control v to paste. And now you can see that's filled. And now I un unhide it to get rid of that red, um, that red marker. And I'm just going to press Control d to deselect. And then back in my Layers tab, you can see I now have the Beauty Pass with the Z-Depth as a mask on it. And I, if I turn my photo on, you can see we're starting to get something like a sort of integration effect. And that's because the white pixels here are showing the, showing the Beauty Pass and the black pixels, the darker pixels, are hiding it. So we basically just want to find a place within this range where our photo should sit. And there's a few different ways you can do this. You can you can come up to with with the with the uh, z-depth pass selected, and in fact turn off this. If you click this little uh, link, it'll turn off that connection between the two, so you don't run the risk of potentially affecting the beauty, which you want to leave the same. But with the um, with the mask selected, if you come up to the image uh, and go to adjustments, you can use all these different adjustments to um, change the range of the depth map. So that you can do it with the levels, but it's a little bit fiddly, and I think for our, for our purposes, the threshold works quite well. So using threshold, um, you just get this little dialog box here. You can drag this number around, and you're basically setting the depth map for the image. So I think for this image, I'm probably going to go with something around maybe here. It looks quite good. I get the little spikes in her back and the rocks in the foreground seem to be working quite well. So I'm just going to go with that number and press OK. And then if we just go in a bit closer, we can see what the threshold has done. It's it's basically created a one a one or one or zero um, pixel value for all of our pixels in our depth map, which means we don't get any anti-aliasing or feathering on our on our depth pass, which is a little bit harsh and it obviously looks like potentially a, like quite quite messy. So one thing we can do to fix this is actually to come into, if I just go back to 100%, let's come into selection and under select and mask, we can check these um, select and marks, mask settings. And what I think what's quite helpful is just setting the smart radius to one. And immediately you can see that it's started to sort of detect some of the edges there. It still looks quite messy, but if you just t touch the smoothing a bit, and maybe just play a little bit with these with these numbers. You can start to bring back a, so a softer edge on this um, on this mask without it looking too um, yeah too harsh or too incorrect. I think somewhere around there looks quite good. You probably want to go in and do some manual correction, but it gets you into a, a good place to start your painting and and manual correction if you need to do it. And you can always try playing with these settings depending on what you want to achieve, like you know, playing with the feather and the shift edge and everything until you until you get a result that you're happy with. 
So um, after you press OK, it seems to have changed it a little bit as well. It kind of looks a bit better, I think. So yeah, um, that's my short tip for how to use your Z-Depth Pass uh, to integrate photos or other things into your composite in Photoshop. Thanks, guys, and um, see you later.